Today we're going to learn about DVD authoring in Pinnacle Studio. We are going to show you how to create a DVD menu for your movie. I have finished creating my movie and now I want to add a DVD menu. Select the button Show Menus on the left hand side of the album and this will open the DVD menus. I want to talk a little about the content that comes with Studio. Some of the titles, menus and montages have the same theme which is great if you want to have the same look for the whole project. For example, in this movie, I'm using the montage called 50s Modern. I also have a DVD menu called 50s Modern, and I plan on using these together. I recommend you take some time and explore the content in studio before planning your next movie. Let's start authoring our movie. I want you to notice that we have two menus for 50s Modern. The first one is a main menu, and the second one is a sub-menu. The main menu will allow you to play the whole movie, or go to scene selection. The sub-menu is for all of your chapter points. If you plan on using both of these menus, then I recommend you place the sub-menu first. Simply drag and drop the 50s Modern sub-menu to the beginning of your timeline. A menu appears and asks if you want Studio to create chapter points automatically or manually. I am going to choose automatically and select OK. The chapter points are placed in the timeline and our video toolbox opens up to show us our DVD menu. There are some great tools in here to customize your DVD. The Edit Menu button is used to change buttons, text, or a background. I am going to switch menu type to Manual because I want to make some changes and I do not want Studio to add more chapter points automatically. I am going to select Chapter 2 with my cursor and it becomes highlighted. I want to change the name of the button so I am going to type Surfer and select Set Thumbnail. I now have a new chapter title. I also want to change the thumbnail image, but not the endpoint. I grab the slider in the timeline and drag it to a new image and now select Set Thumbnail and a new thumbnail is created in my menu. To create motion thumbnails, simply check this button and all of our thumbnails will have motion on them. Select this button if you want to return to the menu after every chapter. Select this button to create a new endpoint for Chapter 2 or select this button to delete the endpoint for Chapter 2. Set Return will allow you to create a point where you can return to the menu at any point in the movie. This page shows us we are on menu page number one. To go to page number two, click on the forward arrow, and to go back, click on the back arrow. I also want to show you a quick trick to create a new endpoint. Click on the Chapter 2 button. Now drag to the timeline and release. A new endpoint has been created. It is that simple to set a new endpoint. I now want to add the main menu. Click on the video camera above the timeline and our video toolbox closes. Now select the 50s Modern main menu and drag and drop it to the beginning of the timeline. Before releasing, make sure that you see the green lines because this will insert the menu into the beginning of the movie. If you see blue lines, then the menu will drop over the top of our existing submenu and we do not want that to happen. Double click on our main menu and our video toolbox opens. I want to link to the new buttons. Click on the play button and drag to the beginning of the movie in the timeline. The link is created. Now click on the scene selection button and drag to menu 2, also the sub menu in the timeline. Remember to make sure you see the green lines before you release. The last thing I want to do is select edit menu. This is where we can create new buttons, add titles or change the background. I want to change the title. Double click on your text here and our title becomes highlighted. I'm going to type surfing and our title changes. Double click the title again and select any of the standard presets to change the look of the title. Select here to change the font and here to change the font size. Select the custom tab to create your own look on the face, edge or drop shadow. Select this button to change the background. Make it a solid or a gradient. Select the checkerboard to create a motion background and then in studio drag a video clip to the overlay track. Select the camera to see the studio backgrounds. Let's select a new look. You can also click on the folder to browse other folders. Maybe you want to bring your own photo in. This button will let us create our buttons for our menu. For fun I'm going to drag this basketball over to the menu. This drop down menu lets me select what kind of button this will be. I'm going to leave it as a normal button. I have three highlight styles, square, the whole button, or underline. We can also change the highlight color of the button when it is active or selected. To make this button bigger, I simply select the corner and pull. 
Select OK and my new button is created. This button can be linked to anywhere in my movie. To test out your DVD before you make movie, click on the disc button below the player window. This is a great way to test the authoring before you burn. Notice all of my highlights work. And when I select scene selection, we go to our sub-menu. And if I select main, we go to our main menu. I recommend you test all of the links before burning to a DVD. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to author a DVD in Pinnacle Studio.